Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the first draft of the year. This is a dynasty draft, a 16 team dynasty draft, super flex. We have five rounds to the draft, linear draft. So I have the second pick in each round by random drawing. And I'll have the second pick in every round. So I won't have to wait 30 some odd picks for it to come back. Look, I hope that this is going to shine some light on some of the rookies for you. I hope that you're going to be able to make some decisions, whether it's a dynasty league that you're in or not, that you'll be able to, you know, do the right thing or take some of the right things. Rather than just a mock draft, you can watch. And as I'm talking to you, well, I'm participating in the draft. So, well, you could kind of see what I'm thinking, what I'm talking about anyway. So, I don't know. What the hell do I know, right? All right. This draft's going to start here in just a minute, so I'm excited for it, and um, I'm excited that you're here with us. So thank you for joining us. You can always check us out at Winning Fantasy Football, the Facebook group, or you can check out, you can just type in Winning Fantasy Football into the Google box there. It'll take you to the site, HalloFameFantasyFootball.com, HalloFameFantasyFootball.com, and WinningFantasyFootball.com are the same site. Makes it easy for you. We're doing a full conversion there. It's just taking us a little longer than we thought. And the draft is underway here. Let me put on my eyeballs. Let's see. There's two minutes for each pick. I'm the second one up. shows that uh, P. Franco, the first pick, shows that he's in the room here, so shouldn't be a timeout situation. Now, a lot of people think that Brees Hall, you know, is the offensive player you should take at one. He did take Brees Hall at one. Now, I'm not left with a decision here. I want to take Walker... Seattle running back here. I think he's going to have an outstanding year. I think he's going to take over by the end of the year. But I also badly need a wide receiver. And I have the wide receiver, Drake London, ranked just about the same as Walker. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select Drake London if I can, if the system will let me. Let me see here. And that's who I picked there. How about it? Drake London. Second pick might have been a little high. I had an opportunity to trade back earlier in the day. Uh, the price was a little too rich for me. There goes Kenneth Walker, just like we were talking about there. Fourth pick here. We got five rounds, 16 teams. The fourth pick. And you see on the screen there, below the five picks, you can get an idea for what that person's team is. And if I shrink this down, you can get the better view of the whole team there. So that's something to look at too. I'll periodically move it back and forth. I'm going to do my best to keep up with the draft. But I got my first player out of the way being a wide receiver. So I'm kind of glad I got, you know, 16 picks. I got another full round to go yet, but hey. There goes Traylon Burks. I had Traylon Burks ranked the seventh player on the overall bad on the overall board, the fifth wide receiver. So Traylon Burks goes right there at five. No, at four. I'm sorry, at four. Sorry, you got me reading on the tiny print today. There we go. Sky Moore going early there. I like Sky Moore. Just not sure I like him there. At 9, I like him. He just went there at 5. I think he's going to do some good things there in Kansas City. I think he's the replacement for Tyreek Hill. I, th I think that's what they see him as. So... It's like they haven't lost a Tyreek Hill. May take him, you know, a little bit to get in. I, you know, I, I'm, I have some concerns about his running the route tree here. And I'm going to pull this back here 
because I see that I have uh, made a mistake here in what I'm doing. So Traylon Burks goes. How's that? It was right there at five. No. And I hear myself here. So that means I have an echo going. At four. So let's I'm cut sorry, that four. out. Let's cut that out. Sorry, you got me reading on a tiny print today. Let's see here. Let's see what I can see. Oh, say can you see. There I am. Shows were live now, and I see the difference there, there in Sky the Moore going early there. I got the echo. I like there we go. Now we're back in business. All right, so after Trey Lomberg, Sky Moore, then Garrett Wilson went. I expect uh, Chris Olave to be one of the uh, next players taken here soon as well. This is a PPR league with a super flex, meaning you get to play an extra player. It usually behooves you to have a quarterback because quarterbacks do put up some points. Let's see, we're on the sevens now. There goes Chris Olave, just like we talked about. And there goes Christian Watson as well. Christian Watson. See, some people are uncomfortable with silence like that. I'm perfectly comfortable with it. I hope you were comfortable with that. I don't have to be talking the whole time here. You don't have to hear my voice the whole time. I'm good with that. Woo, moving us around here. Woo. Okay, so there goes Jamison Williams, and there goes Kenny Pickett as well. Thought that's a little high for a quarterback, but it's a 16-team dynasty, so super flex. You know, you, you better have th at least three quarterbacks, in my opinion, coming in, regardless of their tenure or stature. Um, hopefully you're getting all starters. I kind of like Cook here. James Cook, running back, Buffalo. Now, he's going to have a timeshare situation going on there. But I think he's going to come out looking like the, the bigger guy, barring any injuries or anything. He might still have somewhat of a committee thing going on there. I don't know. I also like Jahan Dotson uh, right here, Washington receiver. Washington's been looking for a guy. Curtis Samuel has hurt for him all last year. And we no longer call them the football team now. We call them the commanders, of course. So this is very interesting. Cock running down here. 44 seconds. We're 10 picks in here. Waiting on the 11th pick in the first round. Again, we were pick number two when we took Drake London receiver for the Atlanta Falcons. He graded out as the number one receiver for us. It's like somebody's going to get counted out here.
Christian Watson, who was just selected there, one of the top players on our Adjusted Explosiveness Index. That's available for you right now. But Malik Willis just went there, second quarterback right in a row there. Top two quarterbacks in the draft for most NFL scouts. So that's interesting that they go back to back there. Here we are in pick 12, first round, 16 team dynasty, five round draft. Rookies and free agents. I don't see. I didn't see a lot of free agents out there that uh, I would hold on to. We do have large taxi. We do have uh, IR as well. So I really didn't see a lot of uh, other players that were free agents that I thought were notable enough for me to, you know, to pick up as a free agent. I, I didn't want to drop anybody necessarily. So we'll see. A lot of receivers going first. Two, four, six, seven receivers out of the first 11 picks. Seven receivers, two running backs, and two quarterbacks. Timer running down again. 30 seconds here. And the pick is in. And it's George Pickens, wide receiver. I do like George Pickens. There goes James Cook. I talked about him before. So we'll be up again in uh, four picks here, after four picks, because it's a linear and I'm number two. So we don't have to snake all the way back. That would be like another 30 picks before we got the pick again. So I like this position I'm in here. I, I, I had the opportunity to trade back, like I said. I was going to trade back to, you know, in the mid... In the middle of the pack, I'm not going to give up the team there, but uh, we just couldn't get together on a price that was right, and that's okay. Sometimes that's what it is. That's what happens. No big deal. Life goes on. But we got the addition of Drake London. I think he's going to do well with our team here. Julio Jones, an expiring guy on our team right now. We also have Devin Duvernay, Tutu Atwell, T.Y. Hilton. We got some age going there. Valdez, Scantling, Zach Pascal. Anyway, we had some uh, some age there on the bench. Khalif Raymond, Curtis Samuel. None of these guys are we proud of. So They're winding the clock down less than 10 seconds. Jahan Donson gets taken. He was on my board next. I know that. Let me see here. McBride. Who just went here? Look like Alec Pierce just went. Wow! Now it looks like Desmond Ritter went. Another quarterback from Cincinnati. One more pick and then we're up again here. I do like McBride here. I could use another tight end, but I think I'm going to go with receiver. Might go with receiver uh, John Mechie. He'd be the 10th receiver off the, off the board there. I do like Robinson, though, here, too, coming up. Brian Robinson for Washington. But, again, he'll be in a, a split situation. He's a running back out of Alabama. They ended up taking him in the third round with the 34th pick. Wow! Matt Carl went. I had an interesting story about Matt Car Corral on the, uh, on the website. I'll, I'll repost that sometime. 
but let me take a look at who I'm going to pick here. I do like a Trey McBride, but I, I, I don't think I'm going to have to take McBride here. I think I'm going to go Mechie. I think ooh, maybe Damian Pierce for Houston. Wow, that'd be a great pick. I'm going to go Mechie, though, here. I had him in my queue ready to go. That's who I'm going to go with. No sense triple guessing myself. I can use it another receiver i'm happy with getting two of the top 14 receivers i'm sorry two of the top 14 players on my list and two of the top 10 receivers on my list and getting drake london and john mechie so three more picks to go here maybe mcbride will fall to me and i'll jump on him there or maybe i'll pick up a running back here Again, PPR League, Superflex, 16-team dynasty, five rounds in this rookie draft. I went receiver, receiver. You see, nobody's done that yet. And there's another receiver and running back combination. There goes Dave Bell right there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, post up another guy I might be looking at. Here goes Isaiah Spiller, Texas A&M. Yeah, I'm just looking through my list here, double-checking everything, trying to follow along here. About 30 seconds left on the clock. We're waiting on the fifth pick in the second round. 16-team dynasty, super flex, PPR. You can see some of our teams below there. I'll go ahead and drop this down. You can see the rest of the teams there. Ten seconds to go here on the pick. Oh, come on, dude. He gave him an auto pick of Rashad White. It's not really a bad pick there. I mean it's it's kinda kinda nice unless he got that in. It does say CPU auto pick there, so it looks like it took care of him at least. Didn't totally jam him up. So after going Sky Moore, he gets the auto pick there, white. Now you see who I got in my queue there. But it doesn't mean nothing, of course, if those guys get picked. Hayden Hurst got drafted, though. Again, free agent. I didn't think he was worth the look anymore. So I'm glad somebody else picked up Hayden Hurst there. That frees up one more rookie for me. So we just seem to have that happen 15 more times. And it'll be like, I've improved a whole round in the draft. <clears throat> no, Hayden Hurst came out of South Carolina. His number one draft pick of the Falcons years ago. And, um, you know, he just didn't get it done. He looked like an explosive playmaker in college in the SEC. That's hard to do. 
you got to you, you got to have wheels, you got to have brains, you got to have moves, you got to have quicks, you got to have jumps, hops, bunnies, whatever they want to call them. You got to have all that stuff and it just hadn't panned out for him. Now in Cincinnati here. There's Jalen Tolbert. Dallas wide receiver. And there goes Damian Pierce there, yeah. So I had Damian Pierce on my cheat sheet there. Jalen Tolbert, of course, he's at his South Alabama third round draft pick, 24th player in the third round there. So Damian Pierce and Jalen Tolbert. I kind of like to throw a couple guys in my queue there, so I always have something on the fire. I always got something cooking. I don't want to get timed out on. I want to make a mistake or, or whatever. So I kind of like the idea of the auto uh, auto pick if you're not there. It doesn't slow things down for other people. It's like the phone guy at a live draft. If you haven't been the phone guy, but you've experienced the phone guy, the phone guy isn't a good thing. Trust me. Oh, oh, he got picked already? Okay, how about this guy? Well, who do you think I should take? No, just stop, okay? If you can't make your draft, it's a live in-person draft. Have it in a dual format where it can be done online at the same time. Uh, you know, I use uh, I use a tool that helps me do that. Uh, I'm not uh, getting any endorsement or anything. It's called Fan Draft, and I really like that tool a lot. So that, that that's a plug if you want. You can walk up music, you can have pictures, you can have interaction, scroll across the bottom. You can do all sorts of stuff there. Add music, like I said. So uh, it's always a good time for a live in person draft or online draft. About t under 20 seconds here. We've had uh, one other person went two receivers here Chris Olave wow. and Colbert. And there goes another quarterback. There goes Sam Owl right there. That's a surprise to me this early. But again, super flex, I'm not really that surprised. So That makes the top five quarterbacks that I had ranked here all taken already. So I'm not sure this is a deep quarterback class. I may have to trade for quarterback. But I got three quarterbacks. I think I'm going to be okay there. Albeit, they are... Uh, Garoppolo, who should land on a team here as soon as uh, camp opens up or what have you. There may be injuries. There might be trades now. You, know, you just never know what's going to happen. People wanted to wait, see what's going to happen in the draft. I have Lamar Jackson as well, and I also have Davis Mills, who looks like he's going to continue to be the starter there in Houston. So I did well picking him up last year. He covered me a little bit there. It was Tyquan Thornton. From the Patriots. Number 17 overall receiver. Number 40 overall. From where I'm standing on my cheat sheet here. I've still got three guys in my queue here. And I got seven guys to go. There goes Robinson. Wendell Robinson. Wide receiver for the Giants. So that's interesting. Those two, those two uh, people there, those last two picks, they went quarterback, quarterback in round one. Then they went wide receiver, wide receiver, and just before them there at pick number nine, the uh, team there went running back and then quarterback. So we'll see what the last pick of this round, the 16th. Wow. Cam Newton was available and he was just taken. That's right. You can draft the free agents here. Not sure I would have taken Cam Newton there, but to each his own. Reminder, you can go to Hall of Fame Fantasy Football.com or Winning Fantasy Football.com. They're both essentially the same site. You can check out our Adjusted Explosiveness Index. It costs you only a couple bucks. These are metrics done before the players are even drafted, strictly wide receivers, ranking them in a way mathematically that makes sense. 
comparatively speaking to each other with their physical attributes. The 40 time, the vertical jump, the broad jump. There goes Romeo Dubs. Let's see here. Anyway, th this gives you some direction in those middle rounds. When you're trying to, or, or maybe in a dynasty draft, you're trying to decide between a couple guys. You'll have that adjusted explosiveness index at your fingertips. There's a metric, there's a scoring system for it. So check it out at Hall of Fame Fantasy Football.com or at Winning Fantasy Football.com. You can always check us out on the Facebook group as well. We're also on Twitter. Check us out on the socials, wherever you do stuff. Podcast. We're getting the podcast cranked up again, guys. It's that time of year. It's ready to go. Let's go. It's fantasy football time. Again, 16 team dynasty, super flex, PPR. We're in a round two. We're toward the end of round two. The 14th pick. One minute to go on the 14th pick. Not quite to the halfway point of the draft here. Hopefully looking at a draft like this will give you some insight as to where you're at in your mind's eye during a draft. You can see how that compares with what, uh, you know, with what I got going on here. Now, if you haven't drafted on Sleeper before, this is the Sleeper app. You can find them at sleeper.com. Some people like it. Some people hate it. I think it looks, I think it's pretty cool. I think it, I think it, it does its job that I need to do. Shows you the positions here that you need, how many of each starter that you need. You know, it assumes we're doing a full draft. It, you know, the queue doesn't necessarily know that we're just on a rookie draft here. Khalil Shahir just got picked. Shakir, wide right receiver to Buffalo. That's an interesting pick there. I did have him number 28 overall, the 15th wide receiver. Was Velas Jones, wide receiver, Chicago. It was Byron Pringle, another free agent. One more pick, then we're up here. Do I dare pull the pull the trigger on who I got as the number one tight end overall? Do I dare do that, or do I look at a Zamir White maybe for the Raiders or Brian Robinson? Brian Robinson Jr. for Washington, who's the fourth running back on the board here. Wow, I'd like to have McBride, but I'd like to have a running back, I think, instead. As you see on my team right there, I have Austin Hooper and Hunter Henry and Foster Moreau there. I think I'm going to have to go running back here. I want the number one tight end. I have flex. You have a flex that you can play as well. All right, so there goes Brian Robinson. So that makes this decision a little easier. I'm not sure I like to hear white as much. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger here. I'm going to take a chance here on, on McBride, who I think is the uh, top tight end in the draft. Top tight end taken. Round two, 23rd pick out of Colorado State. 6'4", 260. This guy's bringing his lunch with him. He just made my team. There he goes. Trey McBride. There we go. So I've got, I had him ranked number 13 overall. So I've got three of the top 14 players through three rounds of drafting. 16 teams. So that's like 48. So I I got a lot of value based on my research I did earlier here. I mean, I'd rather have him than Hunter Hurst. In Arizona, they they needed a, a big pass catching guy. There goes White. I just talked about that situation there as well. So my first forty two picks are all taken. I'm still old school. I do uh, cheats and I you know do my thing here. 
because it helps keep me honest. Oh, you know, you ought to use one of these programs. Well, the program's only as good as the people who wrote it, and I don't know that guy. You know what I mean? So I'm going to do some stuff on the computer. I'm going to utilize computers, but when I make final decisions, it's me looking at raw data, whatever that means, whether it's on paper, whether it's on a screen, whatever. By the way, we do have merch available. You can check out Hall of Fame Fantasy Football.com. We do have merch. We have shirts, hats, shoes, all sorts of stuff over there. Go check it out at Hall of Fame Fantasy Football.com slash merchandise. Again, 16 team Dynasty Superflex Rookie Draft. This is May 1st, 2022. This is through the Sleeper app. I've been in this in this league a couple years random pick on the draft order there it's a linear draft so i get the second pick each round i'm through three rounds we have five rounds total we're three picks into the third round so again i like the linear better than the snake because you don't have to wait for it to come all the way back wait 30 picks for your pick here all right so i'm going to start toying around with some people to put in my queue here because I like to do that. A L L G E I. That's what I'm going to put there. And it looks like a couple guys just went here. Hassan Haskins. Justin Ross and Ingram have all gone. Haskins I had ranked number 38. The 16th running back. It was Tariq Cohen. Again, there's free agents and rookies in this draft in this format here. Again, I didn't find anybody that I thought would uh, make a difference to me. So I'm kind of sticking just with going with the rookies if I can. I think I'm willing to take a chance with a rookie versus a guy that the other 15 teams didn't want either, you know? So. Ingram. Here we are, we're in the, uh, Eighth pick here at a third round. Let's see if I can get a couple people more in my queue here so I'm not off guard. running down on him. I got Jerome Form in my queue. Ford in my queue right behind Pierre Strong. I still got about halfway through the round to go, but again, I'm just... You know, trying to make it so I'm not as rushed, trying to make it more enjoyable experience. I know what it's like to hear the cock ding in and, you know, your computer not cooperating or your connection not cooperating. And, you know, enough, you know, this, this game's hard enough. 
You know, don't make it harder on yourself. Have your act together when you come in here. Don't have a plan. I mean, have a plan, but don't have a plan where you have to take a certain position at a certain time. That's not a plan. That's just limiting yourself. That's the wrong guy there. That's who I want. Tyler Algier just went, and so did Juwan Jennings. Davis Price will go in the queue. Austin will go in the queue. And he just got taken, actually. So Austin will not go in the queue. It was a free agent, but he got picked up somewhere earlier today. I saw it, but honestly, I don't have it in front of me here. Let me see. The speedster out of Notre Dame. Rams are the team that signed him. There goes Matt Breida. Again, free agents available in this draft. They can have him. I don't want him. Interesting crew here in this uh, very active group. Lots of trades. Lots of draft pick trades. Lots of draft picks for players. Trades. So it's been pretty solid year round. Same core group of guys for I think it's three years that I know of that I'm in this one. Finished second in my division last year. wasn't the uh, wasn't the turnout I wanted. didn't didn't happen the way I wanted, but stuff happens, you know. If you're like me and you play in a bunch of leagues, you know the gods are going to be with you after a certain point, you know. Or I should say, God. There's only one God. Some people say the fantasy gods. I already took a tight end. I don't know if I want to put another tight end on my board there. So I'm going to take him off. But again, that's how, that's how rigid I am with my data. I have my data a certain way. And I have my data because I need it. I'm going to refer to it. I don't have data do a bunch of research and then go, yeah, but I'm going to steer away from that and use my gut. And uh, yeah, I get it. Sometimes you have to use your gut, but more times than not, rely on the hard work and preparation you did getting to this point. And if you didn't do hard work and preparation, well, that's okay because I'll do that for you. All you got to do is go sign up with me at the website, HalloFameFantasyFootball.com or WinningFantasyFootball.com. I do have a bunch of free stuff. I do weekly stuff. I do a weekly show with Dan Tor Tor. That's a that's a popular one. I also do, um, you know, d d who to pick up, and I do that in a timely manner before the waivers are are, are up on Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, so you you'll have time to plan for that. I also uh, feature players each week. So there's a lot of stuff. I rank each player each week. So there's a lot of fun, free stuff you can find on the website, Hall of Fame Fantasy Football.com or Winning Fantasy Football.com. There goes Gray, San Francisco. I don't know, I still got Pierre Strong up there, the guy out of South Dakota for the Patriots. 5'11", 200 pounds, he's like a spark plug. This guy is going to be a fierce guy. 
don't forget, they got rid of Sony Michelle there. I mean, I'm not saying that they're that they're hard up for a running back there. Don't get me wrong. But I mean, they got Damian Harris, Ramondre Wilson, James White, JJ Taylor. And they just brought in Pierre Strong and Kevin Harris as well. Damian Harris is still the man there, if you ask me. Somebody's up on the clock here. Come on! Come on! And it auto picked him, Greg Dolich. Dolchich, the tight end for Denver. There goes Isaiah Pacheco. There goes Jelani Woods. So a couple tight ends, almost back to back, sandwiched with a running back there. I also like the Ty, uh, Tyreon Davis Price out of LSU. Okay, so Rucker just went. So the tight ends, they had a short run on tight ends. Three to last four picks were tight ends. I got mine at the beginning of that round. Four tight ends went in that round. I got mine at two. I got the best tight end in the draft, in my opinion there, McBride. Isaiah McKenzie goes off the board here. I think I'm going to go with the top guy in my queue here. I think I'm going to make my move. I think I'm going to go with Pierre Strong. Number 10 running back on my rankings out of rookies. Number 29 on my list overall. So out of 48, this will be the 50th pick. I'm just taking the 29th player according to my rankings here. I'm going to go ahead and take Pierre Strong, New England Patriots. There he goes. See, and again, I still got guys in my queue. I'm still involved in the draft. That's the other thing, too. A lot of people like to drink and draft. I never drink and draft. Look, they, it's proven statistically that drinking can affect your cognitive ability, can, you know, impair you mentally, physically. You know, why would you do that, especially when you're playing for money. Even when you're not playing for money. It's pride. Have some pride. Put some time in. Put 15 minutes a day in. You'll go real far. Kyrene Williams. Yeah, I do like him, as I said before. Not a surprise to see him go there to 15th running back on the ranking this year. There's still a couple other solid running backs there. And they're in my queue there in... in uh, you see in Ford for Cleveland, Batty for Baltimore, and Davis Price for the Niners. And you see Chandler for Minnesota. There goes Dontre Hilliard, running back Tennessee. Again, free agents in this draft here. Superflex, PPR. I like playing in different formats like this. I like playing on different platforms. I like challenging myself. Playing some money leagues, of course, but I try not to make them all money leagues. I try not to make them all money leagues, but people say, oh, well, when it's not for money, it's just a free league. It doesn't mean anything. Not the ones I'm in. Sometimes we put a couple bucks in to make it interesting, but... The ones I'm talking about are guys that are together. And this is our workshop. This is where we're checking things out. We're following along. Because, you know, something may happen in another league may give you pause to go check out your league now. So maybe you wouldn't have discovered that if you weren't in that other league that 
maybe that one's for money or not. So, you know, I, I find the more the merrier, as much as you can handle, you know, you don't want to bog yourself down with more leagues than you can handle, but spread yourself out a little bit. Try different platforms. Try different formats. Try, try. you know, I, I wanted to try Devi before, where you can actually draft guys out of high school and college. I, 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 I put the, I drew what the line the? there. But I do like playing IDP. There goes the Ravens defense. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't be doing that here. I'm not going to be drafting a defense. There was uh, 16 teams. I dropped my defense to clear way off uh, IR for a player. And there's uh, like 16 defenses still there. So chances are I'm still going to have a pretty good defense coming up. Hansel with the pick. He went quarterback, then he went tight end, then he went running back. Almost halfway through the clock here at the sixth pick in the fourth round. Five round total. There goes Davis Price, the running back for the Niners. Some people are superstitious, too. They're like, hey, I don't want to put my stuff in there and somebody's going to pick it. All right. You know, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you believe that stuff. You know, I, I get it. I used to be that way. I get it. I still am that way in certain ways. But you're going to have to take some risk. You're going to have to step outside the box. You're going to have to do things people aren't accustomed to doing. You're going to have to put yourself in uncomfortable situations if you want to be successful. It's just like anything else in life. If you want to be successful, you can't stay locked up in the closet. You got to go outside and get it. Or get online and get it. So there goes Carson Strong. I picked up Pierre Strong before. Carson Strong, of course, quarterback with the Philadelphia Eagles. I don't think they're going to need a quarterback right away, but... Uh, you know, a guy at a Nevada 6'4", 215, was undrafted, was signed. So that's obviously looking for some depth. There goes Charlie Kohler. That's a great blocking tight end as well. Goes to the Ravens. We all know about uh, Mark Andrews there and the success he has. What You know, you, you need to have other guys, though. You need to have other guys ready to step up. About halfway through the fourth round of five, 16 team dynasty on sleeper.com. Follow along with us all year. Go check out the Facebook group Winning Fantasy Football. Find us on YouTube as well. Find our weekly updates on players, waiver wire pickups, draft advice. Heck, go to the website, Hall of Fame Fantasy Football.com, and check out the Adjusted Explosiveness Index. Raymond Summerlin came up with this metric a few years ago, but it's how I rank wide receiver rookies, rookie wide receivers coming in. This is before they're even drafted or signed with a team. I go ahead and I rank them based on the metrics, based on their 40 time, the broad jump, the vertical jump, based on their height, their weight, the 40 time. There's a mathematical formula there, and then there's a way to determine which guys are going to be surprising. So 
Don't you get caught with a surprise. Go to Hall of Fame Fantasy Football.com and check that out. Somebody's getting wound down on the clock. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, come on, dude. Jacoby Brissett was the pick there. Again, another quarterback free agent. This might be situations where these guys are looking to draft the backups. You know, I, I don't think they're, I'm not sure he's going to have a, you know, the ability to play there, Jacoby Brissett in Cleveland. But who knows if the Deshaun Watson thing gets carried on and then, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Keep Baker Mayfield around as well? I mean, they totally disrespected a guy, brought another dude into his house. So... I don't know how that works out. We'll have to see. There's a lot of time left before the season, but not really. These guys are going to start reporting soon. And, you know, this is the fun time when you get to speculate, when you see guys making teams and not making teams. There goes Jake Ferguson, tight end for Dallas. Dallas still needing to find a dominant tight end like they used to have back in the day. I'm coming up in, what, three, six, seven picks or so. Two, four, six. I got eight guys. I'm coming up in eight picks, and I got eight guys in my um, in my thing here, in my queue. see what happens here my top guy right now on the, on the in the queue is jerome ford running back for cleveland batty from baltimore another running back chandler from minnesota another running back give you an idea here what i'm dealing with here let's see jerome ford 11th running back on my ranking here, number 31 overall, 5th round pick, 13th pick in the 5th round, 5'11", 220 for the Browns. At number 34 on my ranking here, the 13th running back. Ba -ba -ba. Let me pull you up here. Tyler Batty for the Ravens, 6th round pick, 18th pick in the 6th round out of Missouri, 5'8", 194. down just a little bit further to Ty Chandler, Minnesota, fifth round pick, 26 out of North Carolina. Clock winding down again on this pick here. They get Mason Rudolph back up quarterback again. There's free agents available in this draft. Also next on my rankings here is Kyle Phillips. Fifth round pick, 20, 20th pick in the fifth round, 5'11", 191 guy. Wide receiver, 21 on my rankings, 47 overall on my rankings for Tennessee. There goes Rashard Higgins. There's Tyler Batty. He's gone already. Bo Melton gone as well. There was Kyle Phillips. So you see why I do this. Make sure I have enough guys in there. Go in with a plan, but don't be so rigid that you can't adjust or move. What the? Miami Dolphins defense. God bless you, dude. Thank you for taking them there. There's Kevin Harris. For the Patriots. Another rookie running back for the Patriots. I think I'm going to have to go with my man Ford here. So I took Jerome Ford, running back for Cleveland. 31st player overall, 11th running back overall. And I got him with what? Let's see what pick. That was my fifth pick, 50. Man, it's crazy, dude. That's crazy. 64. I got him at the 66th pick, and he's number 31 on my ranking. 
I mean, I'm pretty much done here. I don't have any more draft picks available, but I'm going to hang out with you, and I'm going to see how this thing ends up, and I'm going to see what kind of guys are still available. Maybe I need to make some free agent choices here after the draft. Nick Chubb, Kareem Hunt, the Ernest Johnson did a yeoman's job, and Jerome Ford. I think all those guys are going to make the team. So I like the Cleveland running back situation there. But you never know. These guys get hurt. These guys, uh, top two guys there, you know, Hunt and Chubb, you know, they, they're special guys. And if one of them does go down, you want to have, you want to have another plug-and-play type player. You don't want to have to rebuild. You want to reload. We're almost through on a third pick here. 30 seconds left on the clock of the fifth and final round here. Going to pick 16 on pick three here in the final round. I think I had a successful draft. I wanted two running backs, two receivers, and I was open to another tight end or a QB, and the tight end situation fell into my lap. So there you go. I'm happy with that situation. Again, I had a plan, but I wasn't too rigid. I was willing to be flexible. Oh, come on, dude. Okay, so in my queue here, I got three guys. That bottom guy is 53 on my rankings. Brooks is 49, and Chandler is 41. So it's going to be interesting to see if these guys drop all the way out. There goes Equinemus <laughs> St. Brown, wide receiver what the? for Chicago. We miss Bailey Zeppi, too, quarterback, New England. Arizona Cardinals defense just went. Hopefully this is, uh, this is giving you some insight. If you ever have any questions, you can always reach me, Mike at Hall of Fame Fantasy Sports .com, or you can click on the website. You can comment on our videos if you're seeing the video here in YouTube or on Twitch. Just make sure you subscribe, hit the notifications button too, so you're alerted when the latest and greatest stuff comes out. There goes Duke Johnson. Again, free agents in this draft as well as rookies. If you haven't played Dynasty before, it is fun. It's not like a keeper where you keep a handful of guys. Dynasty is, the, you know, those guys are yours. It's fun to play Dynasty with contracts and years and, and dollar amounts and, and, and all that stuff. Free agency, uh, unrestricted free agent, restricted free agent. You can get as fancy with this stuff as you want. Playing 32 team leagues you involve coaches, punters, kickers. Uh, I've even seen some leagues trying to recruit offensive linemen. So I, I just, I, I, I don't know if I'm ready for offensive linemen. I do like IDP. This league here is not individual defense, but I do like IDP a lot. But, you know, that's how you, you find out things. That's how you find out certain players. And the number one thing you want to do is know your scoring system. Know your settings. Know what you're up against. If you don't know the rules, how are you going to play the game? So it's not all fantasy football is the same. And if you're new to fantasy football, God bless you. Hope you have a great time. Come on along for the ride. I'll help you win some championships. If you're not new and you're, well, we maybe you've won some championships. Maybe you haven't. Come on along for the ride anyway, man. Here goes Benny Snell running back Pittsburgh. Again, these might be backup options for these guys or maybe trade bait in their eyes. But Benny Snell's going to get his hands full of touches there. But, I mean, I'm looking at that team there, and I don't see too many running backs. I see Alexander Madison, Jonathan Taylor. I see Travis Etienne. It's going to be used like a receiver this year, I believe. This is PPR, so that does come in handy. You can also catch us live each week, each Wednesday morning from 10-ish to about 11-ish, sometimes noon-ish. 
It's the Fantasy Football Power Hour with myself and Dan Tortori. You can find us on Wake Up Call DT. You can find us all over the place on MixLR.com, on Facebook, on YouTube. It goes off everywhere live every Wednesday. Year-round fantasy football is indeed a year-round sport. There goes Mo Alley Cox. Again, free agent and rookies in this draft. Seven picks to go here. <clears throat> I hope this has been enjoyable. I, if you have any feedback or if you have any questions, my goodness, go ahead and send them to me. I'll be happy to answer. Hey, doesn't cost nothing to ask. Doesn't cost me nothing to reply. So we're good like that. If you're looking for a cheat sheet that's easy to use, I can do customized cheat sheets. Customized to your specific leagues, rules, and settings, the format you're using, all that stuff, the platform, everything. I can make it real easy for you. I use a value-based system based on tiers and projections. I can make it up to the minute. Or if you just want a generic, you know, hey, this is standard standard scoring, that's fine. Or this is PPR scoring, that's fine. I have that available. It's up to you. I can work as hard or as easy for you as you want. There's a program for everyone and there's a price point for everyone. A lot of my players like to go full bore. Hey, I, I'm you know I've been playing a few years. I just can't seem to get to the playoffs, or I just can't seem to to win a championship. That's okay. I have a playoff guarantee. I will guarantee you make the playoffs in your league. That's great for people who haven't done it. I got people who have never won. Now they can't stop winning. It's a great problem to have. Where am I going to put all these trophies? Oh, my wife got another brand new purse that I spent. Yeah, you know, the wives are great as long as you cut them in on the winnings. If you're not winning, you're not cutting them in on nothing. They're not going to like you as much. Go ahead and win. Do the right thing. Check us out at Hall of Fame Fantasy Football.com and winning fantasy football. Does Isaiah likely? He's likely going to do a good job in Baltimore. Put him. Shh. Yeah, it's encouraging to see, you know, a lot of teams like that draft guys. I mean, Baltimore doesn't have a, a glaring need, I would say, at tight end. But if they see value in a position that's key on their team, why wouldn't you? And look at this. I still got three guys here through 53 on my rankings here. We're going to go through 64. We're going to go through what? 80 picks here. No, that's all right. Look at these guys go what all the... of a sudden. Jeez. Boom, 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 boom. No joke. It's because the auto pick is on here. Let's see who Mr. Irrelevant is. There went Adam Humphreys, the Jets defense. Uh, let's see here who went. Derek Gore went. Man. It's hard for me to read this tiny ass writing. Try to put the whole board on there for you guys. <laughs> and there's the last one, Bellinger tight end for the Giants. So, listen, I hope you'd enjoyed watching this. Again, I want to give you a quick recap here. You'll see this video reposted everywhere that you can find winning fantasy football or Hall of Fame fantasy football.com. This was a 16 team Dynasty Superflex rookie draft, May 1st, 2022, just after the draft this weekend here. Again, you can find me. My name is Mike Sofk at Hall of Fame Fantasy Football.com. You can check us out at Winning Fantasy Football. And I play on all the platforms out there, so maybe I'll see you in a league soon. Thanks for watching, everybody.